Saying your name wrong. Nice drop it, thank you. Hope you're doing well. Same? Nice. What kind of music do you make? Feel free to uh, send me a link. I'll check you out after the stream. I work in a studio. I've been doing that for 10. Nice. That's dope. Yeah, send me a link to your stuff. I'll check it out. 
if you like. I don't have a link, I just have wave files and whatnot, that's cool. I do have Discord, I don't really use it too much though, but um, I'm on BeatStars if you're ever on there, or if you ever want to do a collab, feel free to uh, send me a message on Twitch or on uh, Instagram or anywhere else. I'm always down to do some collabs. this glad you like it thank you yeah I'm like kind of uh I've been going like really well this whole time I think I've only been streaming for like less than an hour but I'm getting kind of stuck here now recommend looking into purchasing wave lab yeah I've heard of that I don't think I've ever used it I'm using it for six years yeah, yeah I'll have to check it out I definitely heard of that before that's your favorite way to mix and master. Oh, nice. Trial on Stein. Oh, is it with Steinberg? Dude, I'm gonna have to check that out. I've, I've heard that many times. Worth the high price? Yeah. Man, a lot of these plugins are. Expensive, but yeah, if it's worth it, I'll for sure check it out. Is that what you use in the studio? I've been using Ozone a lot lately. That's been uh, pretty good for me. I, I do a lot of um, on Splice. They have the um, rent to own or whatever. So it just kind of saves saves a bit of uh, money. You don't have to pay it like fully right up front. You know, you can just. Um, pay month by month. I kind of like that. Oh, you're a creator on Splice? Nice. Dude, I'll have to check you out. That's sick. I, I might have some of your sounds, to be honest. <laughs> I, have a lot of, I have a lot of Splice sounds. A lot of these are Splice sounds. They're just like this piano here. This is just a chopped up uh, Splice loop. That saxophone is this um, Splice, yeah. I tend to go through Splice a lot. That's cool though. Uh, what's your, what's your, um, do you have a, I use piano one shot on place? Yeah, yeah, that works well. Feel free to, um, drop a link to your pack or anything on Splice or anything like that. I'll for sure check them out and, uh, download some of your sounds. Wave Lab, you can upload a one shot and it makes a dynamic loop kit, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I was just trying out the, um, that new, th what, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but that create, uh, I can't remember what, it is, what it's called, but you just click a button and it just puts a bunch of uh, splice loops together. It worked kind of well. Some of them I didn't really like, but it's pretty cool stuff. I gotta check Wave Lab or Wave, yeah, Wave Lab. Make it so I upload one 
one shot and I make a VST for it. Holy shit. That's crazy. I never heard of that. Yeah, I gotta check that out. That's crazy. point just uh or wait then i used unison magic wizard at that point just sub channel shit and you're good absolutely love your piano though thanks so yeah, that's a that's a gem though that wave lab uh wave lab thing you just said that's crazy Make samples mainly, or uh, make beats too, or mixing and mastering mostly in your studio. I've been all fucking over the place lately, and pop and trap and lo-fi and fucking Nintendo music. I'm just all over the place. Studio mostly nice. Make a whole melody right now, yeah. Dude, I'd love to hear some of your. Uh, Send me your stuff, you should send me a message. Perhaps my favorite work with favorite to work with and pop. I think I think pop lately has been my favorite to work with, but I think trap is the easiest for me. Trap I'm just like I'm like speedrunning through trap nowadays. A Google Drive link? Yeah, dude, send it over. Sounds good. I love pop, dude. I love I love pop. It's, I think right now it's been my favorite to make. It's, it's a little bit more difficult for me, but it's it's more satisfying at the same time when you're, you get something good going. Or even if you mix pop and trap, like some Ariana Grande type type beats, I've been loving those lately too. Download your. Are you on? Um, trap is like four seconds. Yeah, it's like four notes too. I hate Edison so much. Yeah, Edison has uh, had its ups and downs for me. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, by the way. I just saw that. I don't know why my no my notifications aren't popping up anymore. I gotta fix that, but thanks for the follow. The kick is really cool here. Thanks. Edison <laughs> has no ups. Only bumps, yeah. I have a lot of trouble with, uh, with Edison for certain things, but sometimes it's easy for other things. I like the, the, uh, background noise. I do podcast editing here and there sometimes and it's, it works well with that, but do you use, uh, use FL yourself or what do you usually use? Very oddly specifically big speed bumps. 
Oh, I know. Trust me. There's there's definitely better. Uh, I'm sure there's so many more better plugins. Even Looperman. I forgot about that website. Fuck. See my my um. I have a laptop that has like just hundreds and hundreds of plugins. But uh, like six months ago, I got a new PC. So I don't think you can even see my, my window when I pull this up. I don't have many plugins on this one, but um, I just I really only just downloaded the plugins I use a lot, and then uh, use FL and use Wavelab for mixing and mastering. Yeah, cool. I gotta check. <clears throat> I gotta check that out. Wavelab. I've heard too much about it. You have Shaper Boss. No, I don't. I don't think so. You're dropping some gems on me. I'm gonna have to look that up too. I've heard. I think I've heard of that though. You can get really clean drums with it. Hmm. Where do you usually get your plugins? Very cheap, yeah, I'll check that out. Wavelab and Shaper Box. I'm gonna have to like write that down. I'm sorry, I'm gonna write that down. Shaper Box. <laughs> My plugins from YouTube, of course. Where else? Fast. You know, it's funny though, sometimes if you dig deep on the dark side of YouTube, you can find some funny ass shit. Funny ass music plugins are there. An <laughs> actual music website? I finally paid off paid off serum the other day through through splice and I barely even fucking use it. I can't even I can't imagine using it on this track. Plug in of a dog dancing to your music. In decent sync, eh? I actually have uh the classic producer LED lights and uh, yeah they go to the if I put my speakers on they go to the, the lights change to the music serum I love serum serum pianos are cool I used to try to do a lot of sound design on it but then I totally fell off and stopped using it until about a year ago but even then I've been using just presets the Woof plugins, it's, it's you gotta pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a dollar though, it's whatever. Do you splice presets? Uh, I have a lot on, well, not a lot, but I have, I have some, um, I have some here. I have more on my laptop, but I only have these on. So just, some of these are alright. Uh, I really like this one. Been using that for some trap lately, and what else? It's an 8 bit one that I don't mind. I don't know if it's on here. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's on here, but. The dog dances in perfect sync to your music. The dog is actually cute. Funny, I'm sure there's like kind of weird ass plugins like that. I think even FL has like a built-in. Doesn't FL have a? Let me check really quick. In the theme, so do you ever change the theme? Oh God. 
fucking eye burning. I always stick to default. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with default. I, I thought there was a, a dancing FL girl in there. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't heard of the dog, the dancing dog though. For 199, there was a dog peeing emoji. <laughs> God. A dog peeing to your music? Hey man, I respect the hustle. I wonder how much they actually make from that. Perfect, perfect sync, dog peeing to your music. That's a new one. And for two ninety nine, you can put a, a dog on the drums, and it will start humping a cat. Who <laughs> thinks of this shit? To the beat of your eight hundred eight, eight hundred eight cancel plugin. Yeah, exactly. Talk about hustle. That's what I was saying. It's like I respect the hustle, man. Someone's gonna put, gotta do like some Hank Hill or something, you know, like. Whoa. Yeah, that's a hustle for sure. Custom FL theme, nice. <coughs> yeah, you can customize it too. I, I just never, I never really, I don't know, I've never really dug into it too much. Down here, yeah, they got all the different options, I guess. I don't know if you're seeing this because I know only certain windows pop up on. Yeah, there you go. Well, you're seeing the probably the changes, but not the actual pop up. Yeah, there's all. What's light? What the hell? I'm going to reset. Okay. That's too much. Turn the colors to white and gray. I like black and white. Try it. FL Studio inverted. See, have you downloaded the new... Because uh, I know that a new... Uh, a new update just came out. But they only have... What is it? Three, six, nine. They only have ten presets for the themes on the one I have. Ultra green. I don't mind that one. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably get annoyed with that after a while. I could, as much as I think the white looks cool, that's just that's just too much. I'm producing at night. My screen is just so white. I don't know if you can. I gotta. Yeah. Okay. So you can see you can see it when I do the changes. Light cherry. That's so bright. Light tan, tangerine. Light pear. Yeah. It's just too. It's just too, too bright. I'm also just so used, to, I've been using FL for so long that the default is just so, 
so normal to me. I like easy on the eyes? Yeah, exactly. Like a uh, dark mode for me is what. Just use regular FL but darker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I never really even look at this kind of stuff, but I guess you can change the <clears throat> change the brightness down. Yeah, I like that. That actually. That's good. <clears throat> Can you just dim it? Yeah, I think you can just dim it, or you can you can really do whatever you want. I think, but I never even really mess with those settings. <laughs> See if I can find some uh, other sample that'll match this beat. Other sample to chop up. <clears throat> Starting and stopping the beat.
today.
your tracks today.
uh, Raji Blanco. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. You like it? Thanks, man. Glad you like it. Hope you're doing good. Good stuff. add vocals or just beats uh, just beats there's, uh, there's vocal samples in this but as in like adding vocals to for a song I, I just do the beats myself but I wish I could sing if I could I probably would cool cool what about you Think of what else I can add to this now. Just a listener, that's all right. Glad to have you. You, would you listen to a song and see if you can do something with it? Yeah, is it a um, song you made or is it uh, just like a random song? Or I can check it out. If that's what you mean.
see. It's a K drama soundtrack. No vocals, just instrumental. It's called Lover. Is it a pop? Is it a like a popular song? It's from a soundtrack. Here, I'll copy and paste. And I don't usually um, sample. Hold up. I don't usually sample um, sounds that I can potentially get uh, like copyright infringement and stuff. But I can check it out, and uh, I might not. I'll, I'll check it out um, on my phone because I don't know if I can play it on stream. Copyright again, but uh, I'll check it out right now. Hold up. Copy and paste. actually been checking out a lot of K-pop lately. If it's a K-pop track you're talking about. Uh, give me one sec, I'm gonna listen right now. On my phone. Yeah, just listening now, yeah, not K-pop either at all. If it's the right one, it's one that said, uh, like, traditional. Some people in the video playing an instrument. Sounded good. Like, that would be something cool to uh, sample. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that sounded cool. If I was uh, legally able to, that'd be, a, that'd be super dope to sample something like that. Like, I, I could even see that working with hip-hop. But yeah, I can tell right, I can tell right away that's not K-pop. <laughs> but it sounds good, though. Cool. I know, right? Yeah. It's like perfect sample. Perfect sample material. I used to sample a lot of stuff, random stuff like that, but then I started getting copyright strikes and now I only really just sample things that I can I can use legally without getting in trouble. It has so many interesting parts, yeah I'll have to check it out more. Some uh look like some uh what like Korean musicians in the video. Like realistically that would be like the perfect thing to to use as a sample. No vocals, just a bunch of different uh, creative samples in one. So many interesting parts, yeah, exactly. I wish.
Alright, I think this is um this is probably about it for this beat. I'm probably gonna head out. It's getting a little late where I'm at. But uh thank you for coming through. Sending that uh, sample too. Feel free to join back whenever. I'm gonna save this beat and probably head. Alright, have a good night buddy, thanks for coming through.